The moon has been waiting for humanity's return. While NASA's Artemis program plans to send astronauts back in 2027, SpaceX isn't content to wait that long. In fact, Starship might touch lunar soil this year, in 2025, as NASA recently announced delays to their crewed missions, pushing Artemis 2 to 2026 and Artemis 3 to mid-2027, SpaceX has been quietly advancing their own lunar timeline. Hidden in plain sight at Starbase, evidence is mounting for an unprecedented mission, an uncrewed Starship lunar landing, potentially just months away. The clues are everywhere. An HLS airlock spotted in the Star Factory, applications for 25 Starship launches, a dedicated team working on orbital refueling technology. While the world focuses on NASA's schedule shifts, SpaceX is methodically assembling the pieces for what could be one of the most ambitious space missions of 2025. This isn't just another rocket launch. If successful, this mission would mark the arrival of the largest spacecraft ever to touch down on lunar soil, transforming our approach to moon exploration forever. The stakes are enormous and the timeline is aggressive, but that's exactly how SpaceX operates. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we're going to explore exactly how SpaceX plans to land Starship on the moon this year, what it means for the future of space exploration, and why this mission could change everything. Let's dive right in. The space race has entered a new era, and the moon is at its center. Nations worldwide have set their sights on lunar dominance, but one company stands apart in its bold approach. While NASA's Artemis program commands headlines with its scheduled return of humans to the moon, SpaceX has been orchestrating something extraordinary behind the scenes, a mission that could rewrite the timeline of lunar exploration. Late last year, NASA's announcement sent ripples through the space community. Artemis II would slip to April 2026, with Artemis III following in mid-2027. But buried within these headlines was a detail that few noticed. SpaceX's uncrewed lunar landing remained on track for 2025. This mission, far from being a mere technological demonstration, represents a turning point in humanity's relationship with space exploration. The mission's blueprint emerged from a roadmap revealed last year, outlining the critical steps toward making Starship lunar ready. At its heart lies an ambitious plan. Launch an uncrewed Starship HLS, human landing system, to the moon's surface by late 2025. But achieving this goal requires more than just a spacecraft. It demands a complete revolution in space technology. At Starbase Texas, this revolution is already underway. The transition to Starship 5-2 marks a crucial evolution in the vehicle's capabilities. Flight 7, anticipated for March, could be the breakthrough moment SpaceX has been waiting for. Success here wouldn't just validate the vehicle's design, it would open the door for the lunar mission's next critical phase, orbital refueling. The refueling system represents perhaps the most ambitious element of SpaceX's lunar strategy. It's a dance of orbital mechanics never before attempted at this scale. Picture this, a Starship HLS launching into orbit, followed by up to 10 tanker missions, each carrying the fuel needed for the lunar journey. This isn't just about filling up a tank. It's about proving that long-duration spaceflight is sustainable. Recent developments at Starbase have only fueled speculation about the mission's progress. An HLS airlock spotted within the Star Factory suggests that preparation for the lunar variant is already well underway. This isn't just another piece of hardware. It's a tangible sign that SpaceX is moving from planning to execution. The company's application for 25 Starship launches from Starbase in 2025 reveals the scale of their ambition. 11 of these launches could be dedicated to the lunar mission alone, one for the HLS vehicle and 10 for the refueling operations. This isn't just ambitious scheduling, it's a statement of intent. But SpaceX isn't just building a lunar lander, they're creating an entire infrastructure for sustained lunar operations. The potential introduction of a fuel depot in orbit would transform the refueling process from a complex choreography of multiple launches into a more streamlined operation. This isn't just about reaching the moon, it's about establishing a permanent presence there. The landing itself would be historic. Starship would become the largest vehicle ever to touch down on lunar soil. 
Unlike the Apollo missions or even NASA's planned Artemis landings, this spacecraft isn't just designed for short stays. It's built to become part of the Moon's future infrastructure. The test program following landing would be comprehensive. Airlocks, elevators, life support systems, all crucial components for future crewed missions would be put through their paces. This isn't just about checking boxes. It's about proving that sustained lunar presence is possible. The timing of this mission carries strategic significance. Success in 2025 would give SpaceX over a year to refine their systems before Artemis III. This isn't just about meeting NASA's requirements. It's about exceeding them, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in lunar exploration. Meanwhile, SpaceX isn't waiting idly for the Starship lunar mission. Their Falcon 9 rocket continues to play a crucial role in lunar exploration. The upcoming Blue Ghost mission, set for January, will carry Firefly's Lunar Lander in Japan's HAKR mission. These missions aren't just about delivering payloads. They're about building experience, gathering data, and preparing for the greater challenges ahead. The IM-2 mission follows, featuring Intuitive Machines Lander and NASA's Lunar Trailblazer Orbiter. Their focus on lunar water ice exploration isn't just scientific curiosity. It's about understanding resources that could sustain future lunar bases. Later in 2025, the Griffin mission aboard Falcon Heavy will deliver Astrobotics Lunar Lander, further expanding our understanding of lunar resources. But these missions are just preludes to the main event. The uncrewed Starship Lunar Landing represents more than just a technical achievement. It's a paradigm shift in how we approach space exploration. While NASA's SLS program continues to face challenges, with costs exceeding $122 billion per rocket and $4 billion per launch, SpaceX is demonstrating a different path forward. The contrast couldn't be starker. While the SLS struggles with manufacturing delays and quality concerns, SpaceX's rapid prototyping and iterative approach continue to yield results. The recent damage to NASA's mobile launcher and ongoing issues with Orion's heat shield system highlight the advantages of SpaceX's more agile approach. Industry leaders are taking notice. Jared Isaacman's emergence as a vocal critic of aerospace inefficiencies signals growing support for SpaceX's methods. When journalists like Eric Berger estimate a 75% chance of SLS cancellation, it's not just speculation, it's recognition of a changing landscape in space exploration. The implications extend far beyond just reaching the moon. Success here would validate SpaceX's approach to spacecraft development, orbital refueling, and sustainable space operations. It would prove that rapid iterative development can achieve what traditional aerospace approaches have struggled with for decades. But perhaps most importantly, this mission could reignite public imagination about space exploration. In an age where technological achievements often feel incremental, landing the largest spacecraft ever built on the moon would be a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. It would show that we're not just capable of returning to the moon, we're capable of doing it in a way that opens up permanent human presence in space. The stage is set, the technology is advancing, the timeline is aggressive but achievable. This isn't just about SpaceX or NASA or any single organization. It's about humanity's next giant leap into the cosmos. Success here would do more than just land a spacecraft on the moon. It would open the door to a future where lunar missions are routine, where space travel is sustainable, and where humanity's reach extends beyond Earth's orbit. The clock is ticking toward one of the most ambitious space missions ever attempted. By the end of 2025, we might not just be watching another moon landing. We might be witnessing the beginning of a new era in space exploration. SpaceX isn't just aiming for the moon, they're aiming to transform how humanity accesses and utilizes space forever. As we stand on the precipice of this historic moment, the significance runs deeper than the technical achievements. This isn't just about SpaceX proving their capabilities, it's about humanity writing its next chapter in space exploration. While NASA's Artemis program carefully plots its course, SpaceX's bold lunar ambitions could reshape our timeline for becoming a multi-planetary species. Think about what success would mean. A starship landing on lunar soil would instantly become the largest human-made object on the moon's surface. 
Its massive cargo bay could deliver more scientific equipment in a single mission than all previous lunar missions combined. And perhaps most crucially, it would demonstrate that rapid, innovative development can achieve what decades of traditional aerospace approaches couldn't. But the real revolution lies in what comes next. A successful landing wouldn't just be a milestone, it would be a gateway. Each subsequent mission could deliver the building blocks of a permanent lunar base. Solar panels, life support systems, habitation modules, all could be transported in Starship's cavernous hold, transforming the moon from a destination to humanity's first outpost beyond Earth. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the timeline is ambitious, but that's exactly what makes this moment so extraordinary. We're not just watching another space mission unfold. We're witnessing the potential dawn of humanity's sustainable presence beyond Earth. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we'll be tracking every development as this historic mission takes shape. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on SpaceX's lunar ambitions. Will they beat NASA to the moon? How do you think this could change the future of space exploration? If you want to stay updated on this incredible journey and other breaking developments in space exploration, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support helps us bring you the latest in space innovation and keeps you at the forefront of humanity's greatest adventure. Until next time, keep looking up. The next chapter of lunar exploration might be closer than you think. In the pre-dawn hours of a January morning, two titans of the space industry are about to write history. After 25 years of development, Blue Origin stands at the threshold of its most ambitious mission yet, the first orbital flight of New Glenn. But there's more to this story than meets the eye. As SpaceX prepares for Starship's Flight 7 on January 13th, Blue Origin initially set their launch for January 10th, only to shift it to January 12th. The official reason? Rough Atlantic seas where their booster is meant to land. But the timing raises eyebrows. It's as if Jeff Bezos has chosen this moment to finally answer Elon Musk's advances in the space race. This isn't just another rocket launch. For the first time, Blue Origin is attempting something that even SpaceX needed multiple tries to perfect, landing their orbital-class booster on its very first mission. Out in the Atlantic, their recovery vessel Jacqueline, a sister to SpaceX's drone ships, already waits at the designated landing zone. The stakes couldn't be higher. Success would catapult Blue Origin from a company known for suborbital tourist flights to a serious contender in the orbital launch market. Failure would raise hard questions about the company's ability to compete in an increasingly crowded field. The engineering behind this attempt is fascinating. New Glenn isn't just big, it's revolutionary. With seven reusable BE-4 engines generating over 17,000 kilonewtons of thrust, sophisticated aerodynamic surfaces, and a landing system designed for at least 25 reuses, this rocket represents the culmination of everything Blue Origin has learned over a quarter century. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest in space innovation and technology. Let's dive right in. 2025 marks a pivotal moment in SpaceX's journey. As we approach Flight 7, the anticipation at Starbase is palpable. Engineers move with renewed purpose around Starship S-33 and Booster B-14, but their attention keeps returning to one critical component that could make or break this mission, the revolutionary V-2 flap system. The story of these flaps is more than just technical innovation. It's a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. Back in 2021, even Elon Musk knew something wasn't right. The old design was killing me, he confessed, highlighting how the original flaps were pushing the nose backward during the most critical phase of flight. It was like trying to swim upstream with weights tied to your arms. Possible, but far from ideal. Those early V1 flaps tell a story of both triumph and tribulation. Symmetrically placed at 180 degrees around the nose cone, they were massive, heavy structures that looked impressive but harbored a fatal flaw. During re-entry, as temperatures soared to a blistering 1,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to turn sand into glass, these flaps became Starship's Achilles heel. 
Flight 4 brought this reality crashing home. As Starship plunged through the atmosphere, the forward flaps began to fail. Those watching the live stream held their breath as the flaps, glowing from intense heat, threatened to tear away completely. While the spacecraft survived, the message was clear. Evolution wasn't just an option, it was a necessity. The transition to V2 flaps represents more than just an upgrade. It's a complete reimagining of how a spacecraft should control its descent. The new forward flaps are notably smaller, with a sleeker profile that slices through the atmosphere like a hot knife through butter. But size isn't the only change. SpaceX engineers made a bold decision to break from tradition, repositioning the flaps at an angle between 120 